Five Nights at Freddy's came out August 8th, 2014. This is a horror game in which you are a security guard at Frederick Fazbearington's Pizza Establishment, where you sit and survive till 6 a.m. while trying to keep your power on and making sure four animatronics, Freddy, Bonnie, Cheek, and Foxy, don't enter your office and kill you. It's a pretty simple premise. You survive till 6 a.m., you keep the robots out, save power, do it for five nights, a sixth and seventh night for lore and um, customization, and you're done. Yeah, I won't be the first to say that the first game is pretty bare bones. Listen, 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 listen. This game isn't bad, but, but, it's one of the worst in the entire franchise. The game is fantastic, don't get me wrong, but honestly, it, it plays it pretty safe. I honestly don't think it's as scary. Even on my first playthrough, it wasn't that scary, but it's not as scary as I remember. Well, I think the design of the office, the robots, and the cameras look fantastic, and the mechanics are fun, and the but on the seventh night where you can customize and how often the Amtrak's can come after you are pretty great. I think that compared to future games, it just doesn't have that much replayability. When you beat the final challenge it has, you really have no reason to come back to it. It isn't good enough for me to want to come back, and it doesn't pose enough challenge for me to want to get better. But saying all that, it's not bad. Not by any stretch of the imagination. It's very interesting on the first playthrough, and looking at it on its own, and not as a series, it stands very well as a solid like game on its like on, on the, back in its day it stood pretty well on its own and when you look at it like just a game and not a franchise it's a very solid game i love the use of music and sound effects and how loud and jolting it is the sudden carousel music that plays the laughing from freddy to indicate how close he is the pots and pans that chica makes when she's in the kitchen the humming from foxy the groans on the doors to let you know someone is there the audio is used to scare you and alert you to different aspects of the game, and can be used effectively, effectively to help you win. While this is used a lot more in the following games, where I'll be more in depth on it there, it's very well utilized here. And then you have the easter eggs and lore. I don't even know where I have to begin with lore, if you really- Okay, r really. I'll give you the bare bones of the lore, but if you really want to go in depth, watch MatPat or something. Oh, I don't know. I'll just speak on what's shown in the game. But, but let me get some- let me talk about these tricks first, alright? First, we have Golden Freddy, who really doesn't do anything in this game. You flip your monitor up, and he goes away. He also appears if you type 1987 into the custom night. That probably means nothing. There are also some newspapers about missing children and odor coming out of the robots. I'm sure those two things don't correlate at all. Um, it's me shows up on your screen from time to time. There's a try crying child poster on the wall. That's really all the major easter eggs, that, that, there's not that much. Um, the lore, oh boy, the lore. Um, five kids went missing, they're stuffed inside robot suits, the suits get stinky, place gets shut down, um, oh, someone was met in 1987. Hey, wait a minute, was Golden Freddy, when he was still a kid, bit by an animatronic in 1980? Alright, before I head off, I have only one complaint that most FNAF games have. I am gonna say here, instead of a future one, I hate that they all have the same jump scare sound. It just gets annoying and repetitive. Yeah, that's really it. That's, that's just my little, um, pet peeve. So, um, I love you all, and, uh, the 1000 subscriber special is next. Mwah! Bye bye Okay, you know what? I gotta really think of an outro, because ending it like a phone call- <laughs> Yeah.